The man accused of abducting a Northumberland woman has been denied bond. Ariel Smith disappeared January 12th while closing up a convenience store, and a body matching her description was found almost a week later. As our Cameron Thompson reports, prosecutors laid out new details in their investigation today. Among the details was how 50-year-old Tyrone Samuel became a suspect. After Arielle Smith went missing January 12th, Commonwealth's attorney Jane Wrightson says cell phone data led them to Samuel. Northumberland Sheriff adding after court, the FBI helped on that front. We ruled it right down to one that was uh, in the area of the store, that remained in the area of the store um, shortly before she went missing and left shortly after. Wright says evidence then placed Smith in Samuel's home after she disappeared, which led to the abduction charge. And then, as was announced on Tuesday, her body was indeed found on property that he was occupying. Official confirmation is still pending from the medical examiner as is cause of death. Information the sheriff says will help as they consider more charges. Finding uh, a deceased person on the property, we're going to look at um, some sort of murder charge. I don't know the level yet. Depends on, you know, what the ME finds. The sheriff adds they're still looking for a motive in this case. Meanwhile, Samuel's court-appointed attorney asked the judge for bond and reminded the court a new state law eliminated the legal presumption that her client be held without bond. She says he has lifelong ties to the area and people willing to support him. She added while he has prior convictions, including time for drug offenses from 2008 to 2021, he doesn't have a history of violent repeat offenses and is currently on supervised probation. Prosecutors pointed to the facts of the case and raised concerns about the community's safety and Samuel's. The judge exercised his discretion and agreed with the safety concerns, adding Samuel's lack of recent convictions likely had to do with his incarceration and ordered no bond. Samuel's attorney says she intends to appeal the no bond decision. Until then, the next court date is March 7th for a status hearing. Meanwhile, Sheriff Beecham says his office continues to investigate this case and asks anyone with tips or information to get in touch with them.